Welcome to another week here at the Tillerin. We are going to fix this corner. I know it has been on the radar for the last few weeks already, but obviously the unforeseen events over there in the kitchen, we just had to do more work than uh, expected, made us postpone this a little bit. So we are gonna do exactly the same thing we did over the last couple weeks in the kitchen. We're gonna do this here now in the dining room or in the dining room area in the corner there. You can see that entire area, that entire corner has to be replaced. I don't think I'll have to worry about the beams on the bottom. We'll see when we get them all cleaned out and taken, but the entire joists here all have rot on it, so we'll have to take the joists out. These three shorter ones, and then we'll have to see what we're gonna do on the long one because there's something. There is damage around the window over here. There's damage on all the st almost all the studs. So we'll replace all of them. I don't think I have enough old material, so I might actually have to buy some 2x4s um, that is new built. And you can see they tried fixing this. They didn't really do a good job. They didn't connect it up there and they didn't take the old rot out. So this is the project for this week. So it seems like we are out of luck. After cleaning it all up and taking the insulation and all the other junk out, you can see there the sill beam and over here the sill is all rotten. It is falling apart even worse than over there. So means we're gonna have to cut out the entire sill from over here, probably somewhere over here, all the way to the corner and then over here also to this joist that goes into the other room. It looks like this joist over here is still, everything is good over here. It's just from here on out to the corner is where it's rotten. So let's take that out. We gotta have to fix the entire corner up there. So this is gonna be a big project this week. We'll see if we get it all done. materials at Lowe's to replace the entire beam over there in the corner and also the beam over here so next step is to take these joists out then I unfortunately just can't take this this joist out because this whole area there is supported by it so I'm going to support it from the bottom maybe lift it even a little bit I got myself a temporary jack so I can lift and support the beam while, or the joist, while the beam is taken out. So I'm going to do that next. I'm gonna prepare below us in the basement everything so that we can do all of that stuff. And then we will lift it, take the joists out, cut the beam off, and hopefully put the new beam in. So first things first, we need to figure out how to put that temporary jack together so we can actually support the upstairs.
So even though I want to keep this stud intact, especially since it's in really good condition, I still have to cut off a piece because I won't be able to get the beam underneath there out if I don't. So unfortunately, gotta take that apart. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.
All right, so we just cut out that beam and got a new one put in. And then uh, Emmanuel measured for the stud here so that we can put that in. And then we are going to come over to these three studs, get those all replaced. So we have a little change of plan. This stud that I tried to cut out earlier is actually the only stud that still holds the majority of the weight. The stud on this side over here is completely rotten. Stud over here clearly I already cut out and then the entire corner was obviously rotten. So we have to, instead of just taking this beam and taking out the beam over all the way over to here, I am just doing it to here right now so I can enforce the corner again and then afterwards take this stud out. And you can see the reason why there's just one stud that is actually holding this wall, uh, this corner up is because of this window. And in the window, of course, there is uh, nothing that holds up. The window itself can't be structural. So this is the only stud over here that can hold that whole weight from the side now. Here's a close-up of this beam. This beam here, the stud sunk into this beam by almost half an inch. So over the years, as the dry hut has been working here this corner and the entire corner started to rot out and this stud, still completely solid, very surprisingly, started to just sink into this beam. So I wanted to show you guys of how much deflection we, we are talking about here. So here you can see what we got done this week. We got the beam replaced in the corner here. We still have to do that section probably from about this joist over to here. Reason is here we obviously still have rot all the way up here. Plus there's rot in the beam itself underneath this stud. So unfortunately even though this stud is in really good shape I have to cut it off 
and replace the beam underneath it. We are ha we have to fix this joist, you can see here still, and then obviously there's two more joists that are missing now underneath it. But to continue here, we have replaced that entire corner. This is now three two by fours that are heading up into the corner, plus a fourth one on the other side that holds that joist up. Um, I cut the board up that the, was supporting the joist because it was rotten in the corner there too. So got that all changed out. I added already a little bit of fire blocking. I did mainly did that so that this dot that we are not taking out completely um, gets some extra strength when we take the, uh, the bottom out as this stud now is the only stud that holds any of the cladding up because all the other ones were replaced. So I felt like it would be a good idea to support it by giving it a little bit of side racking strength. Well, this is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and tune in next week. Bye.